Posterior vitreous detachment is a condition of the eye in which the vitreous membrane separates from the retina. It refers to the separation of the posterior haloid membrane from the retina anywhere posterior to the vitreous base. Posterior vitreous detachment occurs when the vitreous shrinks and pulls away from the retina. Posterior vitreous detachment or PVD is common and occurs naturally. It doesn't lead to vision loss and in most cases treatment is also not necessary. The condition is common for older adults. Over 75% of those over the age of 65 develop it. Patients are at great risk for a symptomatic PVD in the 5th or 7th decade to their life, although it can occur much earlier too. Most often, patients are myopic or nearsighted. High myopes are at increased risk of complications related to a PVD due to the thinning of the retina as it is stretched along a longer eye. Other predisposing risk factors for a PVD include a family history of retinal tears or detachments, intraocular inflammation, trauma, or a previous eye surgery. To keep this video going, in between, I am going to tell you some causes or symptoms of PVD. Now we're going to look at the types of PVD. Looking at the first type, a PVD is considered partial when the vitreous jelly is still attached to the optic nerve but it has deformed a bit. After the sequential exposure, you can see the vitreous humor. It has shrinked away from the retina, but it's still attached to the optic nerve. Age is the primary cause of PVD. As you age, it becomes harder for the vitreous to maintain its original shape. The vitreous gel shrinks and becomes more liquid-like. Yet, the cavity between your lens and the retina remains the same size. The more the gel shrinks or condenses, the easier it is for the vitreous to detach from the retina. Next, a PVD is, complete, is considered complete without a prolapse when the vitreous is still in shape but has detached from the optic nerve. As you can see in the martignani area, the vitreous is detached from the optic disc. One symptom of PVD are flashes. 
These small flashes of light are comparable to seeing stars after hitting your head. They can last a few seconds, minutes, or tend to stop or occur less often once the detachment is complete. Next, a PVD is considered complete but with prolapse when the vitreous has collapsed and also detached from the optic nerve. After the vitreous, here you can see the vitreous humor has detached from the optic nerve and also collapsed. One more symptom of PVD is floaters. These floating spots in the in your field of vision can resemble tiny specks, dust, dots, or cobweb-like shadows. They typically occur in the first few weeks of PVD and are most noticeable when looking at a light surface such as a white wall or the sky. A PVD is considered partial but without shrinkage when the vitreous is still in shape but it's partially detached from the optic nerve. One more symptom, the cowweb effect. You may begin to see the outer edge of the vitreous as it separates from the retina. It can feel like you're looking through a cowweb. This is temporary and goes away once the detachment is complete. A PVD is considered partial without shrinkage with the macular detachment when the vitreous is detached from the eye and attached to the macula. Here you can see the vitreous is not attached to the optic nerve but the vitreous is attached to the macula. One symptom if the PVD is considered complete is that doctor or the examiner will see a vase ring 